This video will show how we reap the benefits of all previous analysis in Lab 4. We are going to analyze the concentration of arsenic and lead in the Pierce County soil and identify regions that are both densely populated with young children and are also highly contaminated. The final step regards, requires us to overlay our three raster layers in order to isolate regions that could have their toxic soil or should have their toxic soil appropriately remediated. We'll be using the raster calculator to conduct, conduct this analysis. The raster calculator is found in Spatial Analyst Tools, Map Algebra, and Raster Calculator. The raster calculator functions similarly to the field calculator where we are working inside of an attribute table. Calculations that are performed in the raster calculator result in a new raster data set that has values equivalent to the calculation that we perform. For instance, in this step we are overlaying three raster layers and adding the values in each layer to create a new layer in which the values are equivalent to the sum of all three layers. In each of these layers, every cell has a value, 1 through 4 or 1 through 5. Suppose each cell has a value 2, or suppose one value has the value 2 in arsenic reclass, while the cell in lead class that coincides with the cell has a value of 4, and the cell in kid density reclass that coincides with these cells has a value of 3. We add them together and you get 2 plus 4 plus 3 which equals 9. After adding these three cells together using the raster calculator, the cell in our new raster layer that coincides with the input layer cells will receive a value of 9. In fact, all cells in the raster layer that is output by the raster calculator will receive a value that is the sum of these three input rasters. While we are performing a sum in this assignment, it is possible to run far more complex algorithms within the raster calculator so that your output raster, raster layer repre, can represent any combination or manipulation of your input raster layers. With the raster calculator open, find the layers and variables window in the upper left corner of the dialog and double click on each of the three raster layers that are to be included in this calculation. You can tell that mine is very small so I'm going to stretch it over a little bit so that I can read the actual items. In addition you should have tool help showing and also you should have help showing and also click on tool help to learn more about how the raster calculator works. I have also provided this file, these files for you because you should also click on learn more about raster calculator. Now that I can see my items, I need kid density reclass, I need lead reclass, and arsenic reclass. I now need to add a plus in between each of them because we are adding I'm going to name my output raster within my geodatabase toxic remediation and save once everything is correct I'm going to click OK and run the raster calculator by default, when it does show up, the new raster layer will be symbolized using a multi-color color scheme. This is because ArcMap recognizes the values in this layer as categorical rather than ordinal. However, the values in this raster do represent an ordinal, ordinal set. That is, the highest value represents locations in Pierce County that have severe concentrations of both lead and arsenic and also have high densities of young children, whereas lower values represent locations that have low concentrations of one or all of these factors. 
To symbolize this layer, choose the surface color ramp that you've been using in the steps previously. I'm going to close this. It took about 31 seconds. I'll now go to my symbolization just to give you some help on visualizing what this will look like. I'll click apply and then OK. And that is my visualization. Toxic remediation. These are the areas where green equals less toxic remediation and white indicates much more areas or higher reason for toxic remediation. And that was a six minute demonstration on how to use the raster calculator.